Well, here we are a few days before Christmas and I thought I'd just pop over and have a look, see how the girls are getting on. This is Polyhive with a colony which wasn't that strong, so I've carried on feeding with a protein-based pate. In this case, it is Candy Pauline Gold. And can you see how they really love it? It's encouraging egg laying and growth. So I'm going to leave this on throughout the winter. Here's another hive which really was uh, going strong going into the winter. So I've decided I'm going to start feeding with a little bit of fondant. Um, here we are. It's one of these fondant feed blocks. It's literally, that's all it is, is fondant to keep them, keep them going, keep them a little bit active. Um, the problem with this really mild weather so I can say it's 12 degrees today, is that there's not a lot of food around for them to forage. However, they are foraging and they are active. So this just makes sure that we don't get the food stores too low going into the spring. And I have no doubt that the DEFRA will be issuing some kind of starvation warning this spring because of the kind of mild buildup that we've been experiencing. So this is very simple to administer. You just remove the lid like this and then I always put the breather plates on like this so that I can swivel them out of position. So there we are, like this. And that's it. This is my top bar hive and I'm about to give it a little pick me up with some fondant. It's a few days before Christmas as I said and um, I've got this sheep's wool on the top there for added insulation and you'll see what I've done here. One of the bars I have cut a little gap in one side. So this is so that I can feed directly onto the bees. I find this more effective than placing fondant at the bottom because that can be a long way away from the cluster of bees and they may be reluctant to break away from the cluster to feed. So what I'm going to do is use one of these fondant blocks like that and just literally remove this little bit of wool you can use sponge or something if you'd rather and just pop that on there like that well this is my little nuke box that i took from a cast way back at the end of july so it started with just a frame full of bees so i've been feeding it constantly with candy pollen gold just to experiment and see if I can get it through the winter. Now I'm going to put my veil on because these are feisty little devils and if my guess is right they'll be very active. How about that? Now we're at the end of December and so look at that activity. Fantastic. I'm really happy with that. One patty of candy pollen and I'm going to leave those in peace until the new year. Just a brief word about winter treatment for Varroa. Most beekeepers use oxalic and the most popular ones of those is apibioxal because it's actually VMD registered. Um, usually you would wait until the dead of winter when the bees are tightly clustered and the queen is laying very little or not at all. However, this year you wouldn't really want to traditionally treat them between Christmas and New Year, which is what I've quite often done in the past. I'd wait a bit because it's so mild. Uh, we're nowhere near the middle of winter, I'm sure. So anyway, have a lovely Christmas and I'll see you next year.